hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this anime tree. We will need at least one add on, which is sapling tree gen, and it comes built into Blender. So if you go to your preferences, go to add ons, look up sapling tree gen, and just enable it, we will be good to go. Disable this. I have two of these because my recording thing blocks this one. And I just decided to do this. Okay. So let's go and get started. Mm, curve. We need to go to curve. Down to the bottom is sapling tree gen. So I'm going to go to geometry. Down here to load preset. I'm going to do Japanese maple because that's the same one I did before and it's pretty. I'm going to go to leaves now. Show leaves and increase the account amount. Sorry, I got distracted by an ant. Increase scale. Increase scale, that might be too much on one. It's just this is a little hard in the computer. So we gotta be careful. But we need a lot of leaves. Oh, oh too much, too much, too much. Down, down, down. I mean up, up, up. Ah, ah. You know, it might just be easier to type uh, 6 5. That looks good. Uh, point four five. That looks pretty good. We're going to want to change from inverse conical to, I think, spherical. Go to branch splitting and bump this up to 3. Let's give it a minute. Okay. I think that's good. Looks like we have enough leaf coverage to get started. And I'm sorry if this kills your computer. There is a, a way to kind of do this with planes and a leaf texture, but it doesn't look as cool. But it, it will work if you need something that won't kill your computer. I can try to show you that at the end, but this might take a little while. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to need to do real quick is we're going to need to make a proxy object. So let's add a UV sphere. Oops, my, uh, my world origins off. Okay, go to modeling. What we want to do is we want to get this sphere around the entire tree. Water all the leaves. You can ignore the trunk. And we're going to get our normals from this sphere. Figure. I hit a button. Okay. That looks good. Yeah, you know, that's probably the closest we're going to get. Hide it. So we're going to need to go to our leaves now and set the sphere as our proxy object. So go to normal edit, get the sphere. It's going to squawk at us telling us to enable uh, auto smooth. So we go down here to this triangle, normals, auto smooth. And as you can see, it's kind of hard to see here, but it's starting to kind of like blur and smooth out these normals. And yeah, this is our start. One thing I, I recommend doing real quick is parenting this proxy to uh, the uh, trunk. That way, you when you move your tree around, it goes with it. Because if not, it's going to do some weird lighting stuff. Okay, let's go to shading. So I'm going to show you real quick. Our focus today is more on the leaves, but I'll show you what I have for the trunk. This is my anime trunk. It's kind of got this gradient up at the top, lighter at the bottom. Basically just a Voronoi stretched out to be little kind of like bark 
with our combined with a uh, gradient or tune shader. So really, it's whatever you want for the trunk. The main part uh, we're focusing on is the leaves. I will show you what I have. So this is what we're going to be trying to replicate. And it's actually pretty simple. We have a gradient texture to give it some uh, color, dynamism, dynamicism. We have our basic tune shader set up. But we have this. This is basically the big thing. This is a uh, kind of this works along with our uh, normal edit to kind of round out these normals and make them smooth. We take it away. It's, it looks still pretty nice, but it's not quite as smooth and fluffy as it looks with it. Yeah. So let's go make our own. So first we'll start by making the basic tune shader. We'll need a diffuse shader to RGB because we need to convert this diffuse uh, shader data to color. And then we'll take that and put it into a color ramp. And we'll just plug this in. And what we want to do is we'll either want to set it to constant and set it like halfway, or we can do ease and just pinch it. It depends on if you want a sharp edge or more of a soft edge. We'll go to this diffuse. We'll pop out and go to normal, 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 normal. And as you see, that kind of rounds it out a bit more. And that's good. So here's our base shader. Now let's add our gradient. So control A, gradient. We will need a mapping and a texture coordinate. So if you have Node Wrangler, do control T. If not, you can just type it out. Coordinate. Text record it in that thing. For a top down gradient, I know that you need to go to rotation, rotation, and type in 90. And that will put the dark on the bottom and the light on the top. I'm gonna go over here. Just gonna copy this color ramp and just squish it out again. You can always just hit, I think, as uh, backspace and it resets everything to the full. Squish it to beast line. And I think I'm gonna make a green tree. I'm not sure yet. Where am I at? Let's see how this looks. How does it look with green? A little darker. Ooh. Oh, not, not bad. <laughs> I think that looks. That looks pretty neat. Now we need to apply the tune shader. So mix. Gonna set it to the factor. Uh, keep it color. We can do multiply or subtract. There's a lot of different ways you can apply the tune shader. It really, I guess, depends on what type of math you want. A little invert to flip it. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Okay, let's compare it to our other one. Ah, ah. Yeah. This one I think is a little bit more fluffy because I think it has a little bit more leaves. Let's sphere. We got everything yep yeah that's an anime tree
Yep, yep. Now, if you want to know how to do this with, um, without, uh, possibly killing your computer, I'll show you a quick workaround. Here. Hide that. What we'll need to do is we will need to make a vertex group and go into weight painting. Wrong one. Oh, first you're gonna need to make sure you convert it to a mesh. Do that. <laughs> and now let's uh, make a new vertex group and then weight paint it. Wait. I'm gonna go to this gradient tool, side view, and I'm just gonna start painting where I want the leaves to be. Give it a quick look. That looks pretty good. Okay, we can now we can hop out. Real quick, we're gonna actually need to make ourselves a leaf object. Something we're gonna scatter in place where we painted those uh, colors. So what I like to do is I take a plane, Shift D to duplicate it, Y ninety R Y ninety. <laughs> Duplicate that one and then do Z R Z ninety. Oop, R Z ninety. Take uh, this one, these two. Duplicate R Y four five. Oop, wrong way. R X four five. And then I'm gonna take these two. Duplicate R Y four five. Yes. It kind of gives us this little thing. Ignore my Discord going beep. Discord. <laughs> it gives us this little, like, uh, crazy leafy shape thingy. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to take our, uh, I'll just go to over here, show you real quick what it's supposed to look like. So basically, we're just going to take what we just made and add a mask to it. So I'm just going to go to leaf, duplicate. Okay, mix shader. Transparent. Boop. And I'm just gonna pull in the leaf alpha I use for everything. I made it with Krita. It looks like this. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. But whatever leaf shape you want, To use. Okay. And now I'm gonna plug color. Boop. And make sure we have blend mode set to alpha blend. Or just I think any one of the alphas will work. Okay. Let's try alpha, alpha clip. Yeah, uh, we can go with that one. Okay. Now, what we'll need to do is we'll need to go into Particle Properties. We're going to be using uh, Particles. Add, uh, go to Hair. I'm going to set it to 500. Go to, uh, let's see, uh, Render Object. Select our leafy leaf. Set it to 1. Yeah, never mind. That's too big. Uh, point one? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, our tree has been consumed. So what we need to do now is we're going to go to Vertex Group. Go down to Density and choose that group we painted. So now the leaves should only be there. Perfect. Okay, so now what we need to do is I think I remember this correctly. Make instances real and then hit apply. And then you're going to want to uh, shift click one and then hit join. And for a second, you're going to get this chaos. It, it did something weird to our original leaf shape. 
which is honestly really cool looking if you just don't even want a trunk and you just want a bunch of these leafy leaf things. Leafy leaf. Just join them. Of course, that does something weird to our tree, so uh, we delete it. Delete it. And then we're going to want to apply uh, all transforms. And yeah, so it's uh, very similar. It's similar to um, these leaves. But you're basically, after this, you're going to want to do the same thing you did to these leaves. You're going to want to get our shape. It fits. So we go to over here. Normal edit. Choose our sphere. Smooth. And I don't even know if that did much. It didn't look like it did much, but yeah. Same thing. So yes, this should be a less intense version, as long as your computer doesn't explode while making it. And yeah. Behold, we made some very beautiful trees. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy having the power to make these fuzzy trees. Have a good day and thanks for watching. Bye!